Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'm going to be planting up my new LO light pot here. As you can see it's quite a big size actually, it's an 11 litre pot. And the idea of that with this is it's got a solar powered light on top. So you can see there you've got this, you've got this solar panel array so it will charge up during the day. Then the light will come on at night. I'll just attach it so you can have a, a look at it more clearly. You can see there's a little LED light inside there. So that will come on at light. That will light up at night and that will illuminate any plant that's inside this pot. So the plant I've chosen is a dwarf fuchsia here and the variety is um, Tom Thumb. So this should do quite well. This will probably trail over the edges as well. It's quite heavy and as you can see it's already started to trail. I think that's about the right kind of size of plant to put in here. I've also chosen a plant that won't get too tall because I don't obviously want it to grow right up to the light because then it will cover up the light and the light won't really illuminate the whole plant. It'll only illuminate a tiny section of it. So what I'll do is I'll trim this if it gets too tall, but hopefully this will trail over the pot quite nicely. As I say, it's an 11 litre pot, so it's really quite a big size and plenty big enough for this pot, because this is a, a 2 litre pot, so it's only a, quite small in comparison. And this is in fact, sorry, a 3 litre, so this is only a 3 litre pot. So a 3 litre pot going into an 11 litre pot, that will give it plenty more space to grow. So the compost I'm using is a rich multi-purpose compost, it's peat based, with a bit of loam added. And this works really quite well for fuchsias. Fuchsias like quite a damp mix, quite a rich mix. So this should do quite well for the fuchsia. So I'll just create a little clearing. Make sure the compost is nice and loose. There's no big compacted sections. Take out the fuchsia for its pot. So you can see it's got quite a good root system. And as I say, it's in a very rich peaty compost already because that's the kind of compost that fuchsias do best in. So there we are, that's it now potted up. So what I've done is I've brought it to the front because I did have it at the back to begin with and it was a bit too tall, it was covering up the light. Hopefully this way, it's a bit further forward, the light will be able to shine onto it a bit better. This is probably a slightly too taller plant for this, but what I'm hoping is this will continue to trail down. The height of this will actually lower slightly and it will trail over the pot nice, quite nicely and the flowers will, um, will look pretty good when they're illuminated. So I'll just leave you now with a picture of this at night time with the light shining on it so you can see how nice it looks.